Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Codes and Standards Academy. Today we are going to learn about the welding symbols. Uh, as an industrial practice, uh, different countries follow their own national standards for making a design or a manufacturing a product. But when it comes to welding symbols, the most commonly used standards are AWS A2.4, uh, which is by American Welding Society, and ISO 2553. In this uh, video series, uh, we will be covering the welding symbols and dimensioning in line with AWS A2.4. Let's begin. According to American Welding Society standard AWS A2.4, we have a basic uh, welding symbol where it uh, comprises of arrow line, a reference line and the tail as you see here. The arrow side is the side of the joint to which the arrow of the welding symbol points. The other side is the opposite side of the arrow side and we have a tail where some additional information shall be given. In this standard, this area below the reference line is always the arrow side and the area above the reference line is always the other side. These are some of the uh, joint type symbols. Uh, as you see here, this is the arrow line and this is the reference line. In all pictures, you can see that arrow side is always below the reference line. Okay, now let's go to the joint profile. Now, the arrow is pointing in this direction. So, this pointing direction is called arrow side and the side opposite to the arrow side is called other side. Here also, if you see, the arrow is pointing here. So, the arrow side is this side and the opposite side is uh, opposite to this, that is the other side. As you go to the T-joint, the arrow is pointing here. So, this side is the arrow side and the opposite side, this is called other side. As you see in this lap joint, the arrow is pointing here. So, this side is called arrow side and opposite side is called other side. In a nutshell, whatever a weld symbol is drawn in this arrow side, that weld should be made in the arrow pointing side. And whatever weld symbol is drawn on the other side, that specific weld should be made on the other side. This is the standard uh, fillet weld drawing. As you see, one member is going to weld it with another member and the name of the joint is a fillet weld. As you see, the arrow is pointing here. So, this side is the arrow side and this side is the other side. Side. and below the reference line that is arrow side I have made a fillet weld symbol so fillet weld should be made here as you see here the fillet weld is made now let's learn few more examples uh, here as you see this is the symbol for a single bevel uh, butt joint so here as you see this is the two base metals uh, we need to cut out this portion as, as you see the shape of this this shape is called a single bevel so as in the symbol it is given as uh, it is given in the arrow side so we need to make this a uh, bevel weld in the arrow pointing side that's why we made a opening and we made a weld here and in this next uh, picture we see the weld bevel symbol is in the top that is the other side so arrow is pointing here but our weld symbol is in the other side we need to weld the bevel on the other side and in this symbol, the same bevel is uh, given on both the sides. So, we need to weld the bevel butt weld on both the sides. Coming to the weld symbols, the weld symbols are classified into two types. One is as elementary weld symbol and the next type is a supplementary weld symbols. Now, let's uh, take a look at some of the elementary weld symbols. It's a square butt. As you see, the symbol is uh, two parallel lines and this is uh, two members. Uh, if it is a square uh, butt, we need to weld here and a single V butt. It means we need to make a profile like a V and we need to fill the weld. Coming to the single uh, V butt with a broad root face, the symbol you see we need to make a V up to some portion. So the remaining root portion should be untouched in both the basements and we need to fill the weld metal. And a single bevel. That is, uh, we need to make a bevel only in the one part. So, the next part is fully untouched. And in this gap, we are going to fill the bevel metal. As a symbol, you see, it's similar to it. I mean, the single bevel but with a broad root face. Uh, as discussed in earlier type, here also we make a single bevel with a root face over here. And coming to the single U but joint, we make a U profile and we will be filling the bevel metal single j butt 
here we need to make a j profile and we need to fill the gap with the weld metal coming to the flare v we need to make a profile like this and we need to weld the fillet weld we need to do a weld at 45 degree we need to deposit the weld metal coming to the supplementary weld symbols we have flush that is a flat finished one that is uh, you take this example after making a weld we need to grind this portion to flat okay as you see here uh, this is the symbol for this and a convex shape and we need to make the weld uh, profile in a convex shape and for a concave we need to make the profile in a concave back run made after the single v butt weld see first we need to make a v profile and we need to fill that uh, v gap and we need to weld the back run backing weld is the one where the back well, it should be made first, followed by filling the V profile. We have three types of backing. One is a unspecified. See, the symbol will be empty. So we need to have a backing bar over here. And a permanent backing, the symbol is given as M. That is, we need to keep that backing bar forever. Removable or temporary backing. Here, the symbol is given as MR. That is, first we need to weld this backing bar. And after filling this V, we need to remove this backing bar before sending it to the customer. If you have any doubts in this uh, topic welding symbols, you can write in a comment box. And if you need uh, more videos like welding, non-destructive testing, uh, you can write in a comment box. And uh, you can share this video with your friends and engineers, uh, especially welding engineers. And uh, finally, thank you for watching.